Hello to everybody. I am extremely happy to be here with you again today for this sixth little video. Um, very similar to the first one that I did with you. My name's Janet and welcome to my class members if you're joining in and anybody else. It's lovely to have you with me today on this beautiful day. Um, unfortunately the bright sunlight does make the lighting a bit of a problem so I hope that uh, you can see me okay. The main thing is that you can see my legs. <laughs> That's the key thing because my legs are going to be uh, moving the whole time. This class is another active class um, aimed for active older people like me, like us, um, and it is encouraging you to keep moving to a steady constant beat. And, uh, and But that being said, as I always say to you, if it is too much and you need a rest, take it. Um, you can always stop the video, have a little drink, join back in. The other way that you can adjust the level of what you're doing is to keep the movement smaller, leave out the arms if you want to, and that brings me to the arms which are, I will be doing sort of choreographed movements. If you're finding it's confusing for you to do the arms and the legs, leave the arms out because it's the legs that are the most important. Those are big muscles there, are what are working our heart and lungs and keeping our strength, maintaining the strength in your lower body, which is so critically important for our balance. Um, I'm going to be uh, working with a pattern, a transitional pattern, which I'll just show you now to take us from the right side to the left side. And what it is, is toe taps like this. If I turn side, I'm just rocking back into my heels and lifting my toes and my knees are soft and I will do a bit of this kind of thing happening. But I'm going to combine it with a crisscross of the arms. And my class is very familiar with this. I'll do it without the feet first. You're crossing to the thighs, you're bringing the hands up and crossing to the shoulders, you're reaching up to the ceiling with both hands, dropping down, slapping and clapping. So the slow version, crisscross, shoulders, ceiling, slap, clap. Now with the feet, it's going to be a crisscross, crisscross, up, up. Let's try it one more. Keep the toes tapping if you can. Up, up, down, clap. And it doesn't matter, obviously, if you don't get it, who cares? It's just a way of taking a moment to transition from one side to the other while working your shins a little bit. And a bit of brain work here with the crisscross. All right, I'm going to put the music on. Here we go. All right, now we're going to start with mobility work. I'm just going to start with dangly arms, soft knees, come down into a ragdoll stretch. Stay here for a moment, feel that pull up the back of your body, should feel nice. And then now slowly build that spine up, one vertebra at a time and go back, bring the hands back, and now sink back the other way. Push forward, supporting your back with your hands spread out in the low back. Feel it here, a little bit into the quads and the hip flexors. Now step a little bit wider, and let's get into the circling of the hips. Circle round, make those circles quite big. Round you go. Try the other way, circle round the other way. Right round, soft knees, big circles. And then do it again, but this time press back through those hands to the other way, stretch the chest and release. One more each way, last one. Now we're gonna bring hands down onto the thighs and just straighten and release, so dynamic hamstring stretch up the back of your thighs, a little bit into the buttocks. One more time, rocking and lifting the tailbone. Now let's do that cat stretch, which I always love to do in every class. <clears throat> this is for your spine. Down two more, just like this. On the next one, come all the way up. Round it up, right up. Now link your hands and take the arm, hands, 
hip to hip, keeping the hips forward, anchored to the front, just twisting from the waist up. So your rib cage moving. I'm gonna go a little faster, but try to keep anchored in the bottom. Tighten your buttocks and pull your thighs up out of your kneecaps. Navel is in, four more. Just feel that little soft twisting side to side. Two to go. Now I'm coming down to my feet. So pedal. Lifting up the heels. So you can see right up into your toes as if you're pedaling a bike hard up a hill. You can close and open those hands a little bit. I'm going to rock, toes up, up, and heels. So I'm going from toes to heels lifting. Up, mobility for your feet and ankles. A little bit into your calf muscles. Two, and last one. Now let's get into the hips. So lift and down, and lift and down. Keep lovely and tall, preparing to open out the knees and really get into some hip mobility. Two more just simple knees. Now on the right side, up and down, take that knee out. Remember this? Bring it back in and one squat. Let's do it to the other side. Up and down, left knee, out and round. Bring it back in and one squat. A little bit of mini balance, yes out and round bring it back in and one squat down on the left last one here out and round and bring it back in sit down now stepping a little bit wider and just bending you'll be quite familiar with these warm-up moves I tend to do them in every class I'm going to roll the shoulders back so this is all about shoulder girdle Again, working round the rib cage and into the back. Pull back. Now, can you go the other way? Whoops, the other way, forward. If you're a swimmer, imagine you're driving through the swimming pool. Let's go back one more time, back. Feel that roll through the ribs, make it big. Four, three, and now reverse one more time. Reach forward. Good. Should be nice and warm around the shoulders. Now, that double arm circle left to the right. Two squats in the middle. Let's go the other way. Right arm across to the left side, bending into the left knee. Down and up. Warming up around those knees again. Big circle. Hands to the thighs and drop and lift. And last one now. Big circle right round down in the middle We're going to walk our feet in and prepare for the next track now we're getting into the aerobic section so keeping that constant steady march so what it is whoops I'm on the left so I'm just going to wait for a second right side march on the right keep that steady right left action now I just want to say to you that at any time if you want to burst into a little jog you can to make it a bit more challenging for yourself or just march like this now I'm going to take this march out to the side the way we did in that first video out out in in remember this out and in now the hands are going to mirror the feet out, out, in with the hands and the feet. Now you can get down a little bit to make it a little bit more challenging for your leg muscles. Two more. Bring it back to the narrow march right here. March it. That's it. Get those knees up. Remember, it can be a tiny jog if you want. Now I'm going to go forward and back next. Still keeping that constant rhythm. Right, left, right, left. One step forward, one back. Here we go. One forward, one back. Forward, forward, back, back. Forward and back. The hands are doing this. Thumbs out, palms up, and circling in at the waist. Forward and in at the waist. Forward, forward, back. Now the more you get down into the legs, the more you're working them. Two more. Let's get back to that narrow march. Last one is going to be back, back, forward, forward. Remember, you can jog in, in the interim if you want. 
So now, still right, left, stepping back, back, forward, forward. Come with me. Forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward. I'm going to sweep the arms. And I really like this one, look. It's kind of stepping back to the toes. It's a sweeping movement, nice and relaxed. Going back into the toes and forward. Two more. Last one, back to our march. Now we're going to go into our, into, uh, the, in, our little um, transitional move with the toes tapping. <coughs> Remember to cross, crisscross now. Up you walk, slap and clap, and just tap those toes one more time. Crisscross. Doesn't matter if you don't get it. And just tap the toes. Now start to march left side, left side. Come on. Remember you can jog or not. Back to out and in. Let's practice that again. Out, out, in, and sit down if you want. Hands go out and in. Out, out, in, in. Sit down there. Use those leg muscles. Keep them strong. Two more. Feels nice to be moving. Bring it back to narrow. March. Let's try forward and back. That easy walk. One step forward and one back. Left and right. Are you ready? Four, three, ready to step forward, left side. Forward, forward, back, back. Forward and back. Sitting down. Down, circling those hands, pushing forward and circling out and in at the waist. Two more. Back to the narrow, march. Now it's the backward move is the final one. <coughs> so still left and right, step back and forward, back and forward, like that. Back and forward, sweep the arms. Back and forward. Yes, bring it back to narrow, march, nice and tall, lace up those imaginary corsets, now tap your toes, there we go, sweep the arms and crisscross, eight more, five, six, seven, crisscross, back to our march, right side, march it out, right side, jog if you want, to make it a little bit harder. Now I'm going to do four forward, four side, and four back. Keep that right left. Off we go. Forward, forward, four, three. Sit down, two. Now out to the side, out to the side, and back in, out, and in. Two more of these. Ready to step back, back, forward, forward, back, back, and forward. Step it back. Two more. Back to that narrow march or jog. Marching. Going to transition. Tap your toes. Tap, tap. Crisscross. Up you go. Tap. Come on. Lift the toes. Use your shin muscles. You have got muscles there, believe it or not. March on the left. Doesn't seem to be much space for muscles, but there are some. March it out. <coughs> All right. Four forward, four side, four back. Left lead, left right, left right. Are you ready? Let's go. Forward. Number two. Sit down. Take it to the side. Out and in. Remember, you don't have to do the arms. If they're confusing you, leave them out. Back you go, back you go, back, forward, forward, left and right, left, right, left, right. Bring it back to the march. <coughs> Eight more. Transition, tap your toes. Crisscross. Are you starting to warm up? Are you starting to feel as if you're doing a little bit of work? I hope so. Up, up. Now march on the right. Let's do it again. Forward, side and back. 
Are you ready? Right side, here we go. Get down, forward and back. Circle those thumbs out. Now to the side, to the side. Out and in, out and in. Two more. Ready to step back right now, go back. Sweep those arms, come on, big moves. Make it big, march in the middle or jog. And back to our transition, tap your toes. Crisscross. Keep the toes tapping if you can. Tap, tap, rock back, crisscross. Up, march on the left side. Knees up, come on, make it strong. Four forward, four side, left side, here we go, forward. Roll those thumbs out. Two more. Take it to the side. Out and in with the arms and the legs. Two more. Now back we go, back we go, back, back, forward, forward, come on, sweep it, left, right, left, right, make it bigger, step back, step forward, sweeping back, last one here, march it out, transition again, and I'm going to move on to another move, so tap your toes, crisscross, Do that again, crisscross, up. Now just march, <clears throat> and I'm gonna to start to do another move. I'm gonna slide and rock, like that. Slide across and rock and rock, slide, rock. Now what's happening with the arms? They're circling and swinging circling so it's three rocks two rocks one rock slide one two three do it again sliding <coughs> and rocking just practicing this now on that slide you could actually jump it if you wanted you could jump it four more and then I'm going to add on Slide across. So remember, if you need to take a break, you can always stop the video, have a little drink, and come back in. I'm going to add on on the next one. Slide across. Rock. Now lift up higher. Stay with this. Can you feel that lifting leg and rocking side to side? Corsets are tight, working the muscles around the hips. Now I'm going to balance and hold. How are you doing? Other side. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take it down into a squat. So feet even, down and up. So you can add a pop-up like that. Two more, wide plie squat. Now I'm going to slow it down. Two down, two up. <clears throat> Again, now I'm going to step into that left side, hands on the hips, Curl. Remember this? So you're squeezing the heel back to the bottom. Make it strong. Rocking side to side. Squeeze it back. <coughs> Working hamstrings and buttocks very particularly. Now could you do two? Two. Rock across. Woo. Rock. Double curl. <coughs> Double curl. So you've got to make sure that your weight goes into the standing leg to let you lift the other one up. One more. Slide across, hold and rock. Now make that rock bigger. Lift, 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 balance. Other side, step across, balance. Squat, down, squeeze it up. Two more, then I'm gonna slow it right down. Slow it down, down, deeper, if you can. Deeper if you can. Now step into the right side and curl. Step and squeeze back. <clears throat> Heel back, hamstring curls. Double curls next. Left side double. Weight goes over into the standing leg. Two more on the right. <clears throat> Slide across and rock. Make the rock lift off. Four, three. Ready for the balance. The balance and the hold. 
other side. Now put this leg down, squat, pop it up, drop and lift. One more, slow it down, go down deeper. If your knees will allow, two more. Ready to step left, curl that right leg, hands to the hips, squeeze it back. Hamstrings working, buttocks. Now doubles, little bit of balance over. Two more times, double curl. Back to our slide, slide and rock. Now make it bigger, lift off, four of them. Hold and balance. <coughs> Other side. You ready to squat, down, lift, down and push it up, push up, slow it down, down deeper, and up, one more time. So we're moving into the next track, here we go, curl first, squeeze, four more, or <coughs> now the doubles, and doubles, double again, now I'm going into some interval, so are you ready? Bring it into a march. March it out. Nice and strong. Now you could stay right here or start to jog. Knees up. Very relaxed and spongy as if you're in a spongy trampoline. Eight more. I'm going to go running quicker. Quicker. Pumping the arms, any time you can come back to the march, can you stay with it? 16 more. Last eight. Back to our little jog. Nice and relaxed. And down to a march. Slide across. And rock. Lift it up. Ready for the balance. Hold, hold, stick it, Janet. Woo! Squat. Pop it up. So the last, this is the last track. Really trying to get a bit puffed. Down deeper and up. One more time. Ready to step and curl. Step, curl. Come on, squeeze back. Get down into those legs. Double curl, right side. Double on the left, double on the right, and left, rock, and bigger, hold and balance, <sighs> other side, squat for me, down, push up, down, push up, slowing it down, slow it down, Bring it up. How are you feeling? Let's do an interval again. March it. March. Come on, get those knees up. And you can stay right here. Or jog for me. Knees up. Nice and relaxed in the upper body. Go quicker. Run. 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 16 more if you can. Another eight, six, four. Now I'm just going to bounce, bounce. And it can actually be a little jump. If you want, bounce. Bring it back to a march left and right. I'm a little bit popped. Slide across. Rock, rock, rock. Bigger, bigger. Now lift and hold. Other side. Ooh, squatting. Here we go. Down. Hand up. Down. Nearly there. Come on, give it last bit of effort. Slow it down. And bring it on up. Do that again. Ready to step into the right side. Curl the left. Squeeze it back. Squeeze it back. Four. Three. A double curl. Left side. Double on the right. Double on the left. Double on the right. March it out. <coughs> Little jog. Little tiny run. 
little springs. Oh, bring it on down. Just march it. Bringing it down. We're going to move on. Just step touch for a moment. Catch your breath. So now we're going to be doing some strength for the lower body. Pedal your feet. Let's bring it down. And I'm going to start by stepping forward. Side. Back. Like that. We'll wait for the music to kick in. Just pedal. Maybe we'll start on the left this time. So forward. Side. Back. Just practicing. All right, pedal again. So we'll go back to the right side. So I'm going to be doing lunges and then I'm going to encourage you to do some jumps if you want. A little bit more power involved. So lunge forward. Step forward. Two more. Bending back and front knees. Take it to the side. Out. So toe turned out a little bit. Weight goes over into that right side. Now go back. Back. I have to make sure I'm not hitting the wall here. Back. And back. Now squat. Down and up. So strength work. On the left side. Forward forward. Two more. Side. Out. And back. Out. Weight to the side. Weight to the side. Now toe goes back. Back. Reaching forward with the arms. One more time. And squat. Now on this next one, I'm going to do twos. And then I'll give you the option to jump it. <clears throat> so two forward right. Two to the side. So just remember what you're doing here. Because you can do it again if you want. If you want to jump, get a bit of power. Come with me now. Jump, jump, jump. To the side, side, jump. Shift your weight. Go back, jump, jump, jump. Jump, squat, other side, just lunge, two times, two to the side, two back, and two squats. Now, you can do that again, or jump, jump with me, jump, jump, side, bit of power, push off, push off, go back. Forward, back, forward, squat. Now I'm going straight to the jumps, other side, but you can lunge. Another set. Side, over, back, over, and back. Go back. Back, and squat. I'm a little bit <laughs> daunted with Steve. Jump left side side one more back back and squat and let's move on so take a slow step to the side toe in drop down big step toe in and drop down now if you wanted you could not touch the toe to the ground. You could just do single balance squat. If you want, toe down and then squat. Wait into that standing leg side. <coughs> you choose whether or not to keep the leg off the ground, the foot off the ground. Now I'm going to change it slightly. I'm going to do a curtsy. Down. So the toe comes behind the other leg. Drop down. If you want to stay with the other version, please do. Step, back, and squat. Curtsy squat, four more. Takes me a little bit to get my balance here. It is challenging for your balance, as you notice with me wobbling all over the place. One more, step, curtsy, down and up. Now take your feet wider and gently plie squat, down and up. Coming down and squeezing back up. 
knees out over the toes. If you prefer to do it with feet more parallel, it's a little bit less stress in the pelvic floor. Squeeze up. Last one. Now I'm going to go into a slower, deeper version. So sliding my hands over the knees, holding onto the feet. And I'm going to let my hips come right down. So from the side, it's a deep squat. If your knees can cope, it's a fantastic stretch for your back. Now lift up your tailbone and glide up. Just dangle for a moment into our last track, the stretch. Have you been waiting for this moment? <sighs> okay, I'm going to get a chair. <clears throat> use the chair to begin. So, step back with one foot, and it doesn't matter which one, and make sure that you're standing on your narrow tram lines. So the back toe, that means back toe straight ahead. Now come forward, bend that front knee, keep the corset muscles working, even though you're stretching, press the heel down into the floor, and feel the stretch just down below your knee, inside of the knee at the back. Now I'm going to come up a little bit and shift my weight back and bend the back knee. Now the heel can come up a little bit. This is a low calf stretch. Lower down in the calf, and Achilles tendon, a little bit in the front, in the shin. Now take a little tiny step up and now squeeze forward up with that back leg, lean back, hip flexor that lifts and lowers the leg, connects into the back, often very tight on people, a little bit of quads. Hold on to the chair, take hold of your ankle, let's get into the quads, pelvic floor up, soft standing leg, tuck forward with the hips, feel that strong pull down the front of your thighs. And last of all, release carefully, bring it up, lift it up, prop the ankle, as long as the hip's okay, as long as there's no pain in these stretches. So now stretching around the hip. Let's do the other side. So I'm going to take the chair the other way, step back, toe forward, heel pressing down into the floor, feeling the stretch below the knee and the main ball of your calf muscle. Now just shift your weight back a little bit and bend that back knee and let the heel come up a bit if you want to. You should feel it round the ankle, Achilles tendon, a little bit in the shin. Take a small step up. Now lean back, tuck under with this back leg side. Feel it in the hip flexors, down a little bit into the quads. And now let's get into those thigh muscles. have been working very hard. Heel to the buttock, lift your pelvic floor. Tuck forward a little bit into your hips to intensify the stretch. Now you can always stay doing these for longer. You can come back and do them again. So now we're picking it up, propping the ankle, getting into that propped leg hip. Obviously, if anything hurts, you do not do it. Now, last of all, I'm going to use my chair just to dangle. Uh, you could even do this from a wall. You could put your hands on the wall and just dangle, soft knees. And now round up, release up, and step away from the chair. And gently side to side, over and over, over. Now I'm going to hold across and let this hip drop down. Bringing this left hand across onto the right side. Let's reach and stretch, sinking down a little further. Feel it here in a thigh. Bring it up, side to side, side and side. Let's go back to the left side, over, sink down. Bringing the right across to the left. Stretch. Oh, that feels so lovely. Bring it up. Now I'm going to 
to crisscross, left across right, hand on the hip. Let's start going with the left arm, push out through the left hip. Change the crisscross of your feet. Bit of balance. Reach over. Release. Woo! Big breath up. Oh, exhale down. And thank you so much for joining me today. It's been absolutely lovely. I love moving with you. And I hope you join me again for another class. See you next time.